Do you know if desi khand is healthier than white sugar? And do you know what milk coffee with desi khand does to blood sugar levels? I have a continuous glucose monitor and let's discover. I've tried my milk coffee with white and brown sugar, honey and jaggery and turns out they're all different forms of sugar and gave me a spike over 20 mg. Not great, especially if you're diabetic. Traditionally, desi khand was made without any chemicals, but recently manufacturing processes have started to include sulfur dioxide to increase efficiency. But still, far less processed than sugar. But is it healthier than sugar? Today I'm having milk coffee with two tablespoons or 16 grams of desi khand and let's see what it does. I like the caramelly taste, but it tastes sweeter than sugar. It's been a few hours. Let's take a look at the results. I cannot believe it, a 39 mg spike? This spike is almost as bad as when I had Starbucks drink, which gave me a 43 mg spike. And it's the maximum spike I've gotten out of all the sweeteners I've tried so far. Just because something is natural, it doesn't always mean that it's good for you. I mean, snake venom is also natural. Sure, it has minerals like iron and calcium, but you shouldn't be relying on a sugar source like desi khand to get these minerals, but instead have real food. The sugar industry in India is very unregulated, so small manufacturers can pretty much sell whatever they want. And it's possible that this small batch that I got was contaminated. The best way to have coffee is either without any sugar that gave me a 5 mg spike or black coffee that didn't give me a spike at all. Now, let's see if artificial sweeteners are good for you.